Nama Shiva students. We have already been introduced to the prose Deep Water. Today we will see how William Douglas was able to overcome his fear by sheer determination. The message conveyed by this story is that it is not death but fear of death that creates terror in our minds. And so this fear needs to be shaken off. And any fear can be conquered if we try hard enough. So let's come to the text. Students, I hope the textbook is open before you. Deep Water About the author William Douglas was born in Maine, Minnesota. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in English and Economics, he spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. He met Franklin D. Roosevelt at Yale and became an advisor and friend to the president. Douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights. He returned in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court. The following excerpt is taken from Of Men and Mountains by William O. Douglas. It reveals how, as a young boy, William Douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool. In this essay, he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcame it. Notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used to support his discussion of fear. It had happened when I was 10 or 11 years old. I had decided to learn to swim. There was a pool at the YMCA in Yakima that offered exactly the opportunity. The Yakima River was treacherous. So here the writer William Douglas is narrating his experiences. He's telling that he was 10 or 11 years old when he had joined the YMCA pool to learn swimming. He did not go to the Yakima River to swim as it was considered quite dangerous. This shows that he had a prior fear of water. Mother continually warned against it and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river. But the YMCA pool was safe. It was only two or three feet deep at the shallow end and while it was nine feet deep at the other, the drop was gradual. I got a pair of water wings and went to the pool. I hated to walk naked into it and show my skinny legs, but I subdued my pride and did it. So here the narrator is telling that William's mother would warn him not to go near the Yakima River and would discuss the various incidents of drowning. He felt that the pool at YMCA was quite safer. The shallow area of the pool was only 2 or 3 feet deep while the deep area was 9 feet in depth. The slope from the shallow area to the deep area was also not steep. He also got a pair of water wings to prevent himself from drowning. He did not like to wear the swimming costume which exposed his thin legs but as he was very keen to swim, he gave up his self-respect and wore it. From the beginning, however, I had an aversion to the water when I was in it. This started when I was three or four years old and father took me to the beach in California. He and I stood together in the surf. I hung on to him, yet the waves knocked me down and swept over me. I was buried in water, my breath was gone, I was frightened. Father laughed, but there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves. So William is saying that he had always disliked water and he recounts an older experience when he was three or four years old. He went to the beach in California with his father. They stood as a wave leapt towards them. William stuck to his father to see, save himself 
but the strong wave threw him down and he was covered in water he was scared as he could not breathe his father laughed and tried to make him feel comfortable but the little child was scared when he realized that the waves were so powerful my introduction to the ymca swimming pool revived unpleasant memories and stirred childish fears but in a little while i gathered confidence i paddled with my new water wings watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them i did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened so when william joined the swimming pool at the ymca the fear of water resurfaced in his mind he gathered confidence by watching the other boys swim and tried to copy them he had done this twice or thrice at different occasions and had started gaining confidence when the incident happened he had a narrow escape from death i went to the pool when no one else was there the place was quiet the water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bathtub i was timid about going in alone so i sat on the side of the pool to wait for others so when william reached the pool no one was there and so he sat on the edge waiting for the other boys to arrive he was afraid to swim all alone in the pool as the swimming pool was empty william could see the bottom also it had white colored tiles on it and looked white and clean like a bathtub i had not been there long when in came a big bruiser of a boy probably 18 years old he had thick hair on his chest he was a beautiful physical specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles he yelled hi skinny how would you like to be ducked so it had not been long since william had been sitting by the pool when a boy arrived he was around 18 years of age had a well built body with rippling muscles he seemed to be a bully he asked william if he wanted to be thrown into the pool with that he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end i landed in a sitting position swallowed water and went at once to the bottom i was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits on the way down i planned when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump come to the surface lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool so this boy picked william and threw him into the deep end of the swimming pool william landed on the surface of the pool in the same position as he had been sitting in his mouth was open and as he did not know swimming he swallowed water as he sank into the pool he was frightened but he used his intelligence and on his way down the pool he planned to push himself up when he reached the bottom he thought that he would make a big jump to the surface lie on his back and swim to the edge of the pool it seemed a long way down those 9 feet were more like 90 and before i touched bottom my lungs were ready to burst but when my feet hit bottom i summoned all my strength and made what i thought was a great spring upwards i imagined i would bob to the surface like a cork instead i came up slowly i opened my eyes and saw nothing but water water that had a dirty yellow tinge to it i grew panicky i reached up as if to grab a rope and my hands clutched only at water i was suffocating i tried to yell but no sound came out then my eyes and nose came out of the water but not my mouth 
So William took a long time to reach the bottom of the pool. It seemed that the depth was 90 feet instead of 9 feet. He could not hold his breath and felt as if his lungs would burst. When his feet touched the bottom of the pool, he gathered all his strength and jumped upwards. He had thought that the next moment he would come out of the pool. But the opposite happened. His movement upwards was slow and when he opened his eyes, he saw water all around which was yellowish in color. William got scared and tried to grab something, a rope which would help him reach the edge of the water, but he got nothing other than water. William was at a loss of breath and tried to scream for help, but no sound came out of his mouth. His nose and eyes came out of the water, but his mouth remained in it. Students, I am stopping over here today. I will continue in the next class.